So what's up guys, Jermaine here. Welcome back to the channel. So I am back home in New York and as some of you know if you've been to my channel before that I was just recently in Egypt. I traveled to Cairo and I went to see the pyramids of Giza. I actually went like, you know, pretty much all over G uh, Egypt. I got to see, you know, parts of the Sahara Desert. It was a very good time. So I want to show you guys, you know, a lot of what I did over there, things I saw. You know, I have some very cool, dope footage to show you guys. But because this is a finance channel, I do want to give you guys some kind of uh, educational material here and show you some things and tips that I've learned along the way. And it has to do with credit cards. Yes. So as you know, if you've been to my channel before, I'm a big user of credit cards. That's pretty much all I use. I never really use cash. So why change things on a trip to Egypt? So. If you are new here, my name is Jermaine Young. I talk all things financial related. I'm a real estate investor, stock market investor, and I love credit cards. So that's what we're talking about today here with the trip to Egypt that I took. So I'm going to give you guys, my opinion, three best travel credit cards. And these are all three credit cards that basically have impacted me on my trip to Egypt. Now, just for all the purposes, Two of these cards I have. One, I learned very quickly that this is something that I need to add to my cache of just travel cards. And I'll explain that to you in the video. But it's important to make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video so I can show you guys some cool images all over Cairo, all over um, Giza. And actually, I'm going to show you images and a video of me going inside the Great Pyramid of Giza. So stick around for that. So let's get into the first card, in my opinion, that I think is the best travel card. This is one that I used over here. But I'll be honest with you, I was having a little bit of trouble of using it over there. Not because people didn't want to take it, but I guess it's more fee intensive for the merchant. But although they did take it. Now, this is my American Express Platinum card. As you guys all know, this is the OG of travel cards. So the reason why I love this card is because one, American Express is accepted a lot of places. Unlike what people may say that, oh, it's not really accepted. It is. It's just that some places and what I've learned in foreign countries, they try to charge an extra four to five percent. And this was one of the issues I was running into all the time when I was pulling out the American Express Platinum card. Now, good thing is on my end is that as far as American Express Platinum goes, there is no foreign transaction fee. This is something that is very important. It's because foreign transaction fees can be very expensive as they add up over you know time if you're overseas and you're constantly shopping and buying things like i was i was buying a lot of souvenirs you know and also like one of the hotels that i stayed at they actually put a hold on the card they didn't charge the card they charged the card when i checked out so that entire transaction had i not put it on a platinum card whew, that would have been a huge foreign transaction fee because it's, it's a percentage of the purchase that you pay. So, uh, yeah, the American Express Platinum card, something I definitely will recommend anyone to have as far as travel. The benefits are amazing. It was actually a time when I went over there, I had to dispute a charge because what happened was the actual hotel I was talking about, when I checked out, they gave me one amount when it was trans transferred to U.S. currency. But by the time they actually posted the transaction, the currency amount changed. The dollar was a little bit weaker than their currency. So then by the time it actually built on my card and it posted, the fee was the, the purchase was a little bit higher. So I called American Express, gave them my documentation, showed them like, hey, this is what I actually paid for. Although the currency fluctuated during the time it posted, American Express just, you know, disputed the charge and helped me out with it. So they are very, very helpful with things like that. I always recommend the American Express Platinum card. But just beware that, you know, when you pull this out, especially overseas, a lot of times they'll tell you like, hey, you know, we're going to charge an ex extra four to five percent fee for the bank. I got that plenty of times over there, but it always works. So let me give you guys the next credit card that I would say uh, that is very good for travel cards. And this is one that I used over there in, when I was in Egypt. And this is the Discover Cashback card. Now, ironically, if you guys seen the videos recently, I recently did an unboxing of this one. And I didn't really realize I was going to actually be bringing this to Egypt. But when I pulled this out, you know, see how it has the Africa thing on it the continent 
on the card in gold, a lot of people was amazed by it. It was like, oh, that's such a beautiful card. It is. But the beauty of this card, and why I love this card so much, is one, there is no foreign transaction fee. Two, it is a free card to have no annual fee. And plus, you get your 5% cashback rotating categories. Now, although I wasn't using any rotating categories while I was in Egypt, because none of those was in play at the time that would help me there, but I was able to benefit of the fact that there is no foreign transaction fee. So anytime I had an issue with, you know, say the platinum card, I could just whip out this and, you know, things was fine. There also was, I believe, one retailer that wanted to charge an extra four to five percent, you know, for the bank, just like the American Express platinum card. But the next card I'm going to get into is the one that was everybody was asking for. So I do recommend, like, if you do have the Discover cashback card, bring it along with you in your wallet, just something extra to use, just in case if you run into somewhere that they don't take American Express, you have this one here. And again, no foreign transaction fee, so you'll be good once it's posted on your account and you won't see extra fees on it. Because I'm telling you, those foreign transaction fees get very expensive. So the next card that I'm going to talk about here is a card that, you know, I don't have, but I do need to add this to, to my cache of cards and something that I will be applying for once I'm under 524. So if you know what 524 is, you probably know what I'm talking about. That's the Chase Sapphire Reserve card. That's the one that I'm going to be adding. And the reason why, every retailer I went to, everyone, all asked for the same thing, Visa. They didn't ask for American Express. They didn't ask for MasterCard. I'm surprised it wasn't asked for MasterCard. They didn't ask for American Express or Discover. They asked for Visa. Visa is the one card that every retailer, every shop, every gift store, everywhere I went, overseas when i was in egypt they wanted a visa card this card is accepted everywhere now the america the uh chase sapphire reserve is a visa card a visa travel card and one of the best benefits of it is that it is also foreign transaction fee it does have an annual fee on it but with the benefits that you get from holding the uh chase sapphire reserve it's more than worth having it. And it's something that I did try to get recently, uh, I want to say a few months ago, but because I'm over 524, I wasn't able to get it. Now, if you're unfamiliar with 524, basically you can't have open five or more uh, credit lines of credit within the last 24 months. I fall over that, right? So as it, you know, falls off on my credit report, I will be applying to get that card. And to be honest with you, that will be probably the last personal credit card that I will get. So I think having those three cards is a perfect combination for any time you're traveling. You're good all the way around. So that way, if you ever run into an issue to where somebody's not, you know, taking the American Express card, you know, you have the Discover card, and then you also have the Chase Sapphire Reserve, the Visa card, which everyone takes. These are all three great travel credit cards to have, you know, all of them. The most important thing I would say is that they have no foreign transaction fee on all three. But if I would have to rate them, you know, by best, I would say right now, for a beginner person, I would say, you know, the Discover because it just has no annual fee on it. The American Express has the highest annual fee out of all of them, but, you know, I use this card for way more intensive reasons for just travel. You know, this is the, if you can see it on there, the Charles Schwab version. I mean, all my points get transferred to Charles Schwab, reinvested, and I just use it to build wealth on it. But the Chase Sapphire Reserve is something that I have to add to my cache of cards for, you know, to have when I go overseas. It's the perfect three cards trifecta to have. So, as promised, I'm going to show you guys some clips of some videos and some images of me over there in Cairo. I thank you for watching the video. Great to have you here. If you are new here, subscribe to the channel. Also, give this video a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And I'm grateful that I'm able to show and share this adventurous time that I had in Egypt. It's something that I will remember for the rest of my life. So, here we are now.